and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. Last time around we defeated the enemy at Metz, now we need to continue forwards. I have sent my spy through and we can see that they've got full stack uh, at Brussels, they've got full stack over here as well, and then they've got a lot of reinforcements out marching all over the place. Before, but, but before we get there, We've got these three forces that need to be defeated. I imagine that if I go ahead and attack this one, it will, or it might, drag in the other two. And in that way I will destroy all of it in one battle rather than having to go take all three. Which will probably drag out the video way too long, so it's probably easier to take these guys on. Um, and if I take this on, I think I could warrant uh, outer resolve for the other two. Um, I'm wondering though, should I send one army up here to go and attack this on its own? Um, which would be kind of risky because this is the power more powerful full stack and the Carbineers are a lot stronger than anything I have. They're even stronger than the Carassier Regiment, even the, uh, the Guard Car Carassiers I believe. So I think I'm opting for the original plan of all three army groups moving through and taking this. And depending on what happens after this, I could dispatch one to go north. Um, I would want though, before we make the leap over to Paris, and like the Paris one needs to be the last battle, um, given that the victory of um, regions our Paris and Piedmont uh, Liguria region. I don't want it to take Paris first and then I don't win before I take this uh, kind of insignificant portion in Italy. Although we do have Napoleon here so it's not completely insignificant. Um, I have been able to move um, the Archduke down and I've also moved this army forward, which could possibly be turned into the light division that I was talking about, but it's probably too little too late. Um, I do have movements with this army, so I'm thinking about moving this one forward. At the end turn, most likely um, either if Napo Nap Napoleon? Napoleon moves forward to attack either the Russians or the Prussians, uh, the French get to do their deployment first, so that it, de it depends if they attack, so um, clearly these guys are not going to pull forward. But I'm going to move mine to the point where he is at least being able to help Blucher um, if Napoleon attacks. Uh, actually, Napoleon will probably attack um, us first, but we will be able to gain reinforcement from Blucher. Um, not the Russians, though. Um, the question is when it's the Russian and the Prussian's turn if they will pull forward without my aid they'll most likely go ahead and just die um, on Napoleon once more and then we got another full stack down here it's on the way so we got three full stacks in this region actually more full stacks than we probably have over here um, or at least more uh, aggressive ones, since these guys are really close. Um, then Richard and Technology, I'm about to uh, release... I was about to release the slave, but this has released the slave. Uh, this is Trade Union, which I guess kind of also is releasing some sl slaves. Um, and nothing really else, really. Um, I haven't worked anything on the um, reversed continental system because I didn't really, I don't really have the money to do that. Uh, I'm recruiting a lot of troops, and at this point, I make 3,800. Most of this money would, pro oh, you know what? I com almost completely forgot something. Boom! What do we make here? 1,400. So we boosted that up from 3,800. To 5,300. It's so really nice there. 1,400 gold just from this, which is nice. 
Hopefully I can jump at some point over to... Um, not spice. Um, ivory, which is the most prized commodity. Which is 67 compared to what I'm doing now, which is spice 38. So I'll double that. So 1400 to 2800. And the region seems quite safe. We still have a Spanish navy over here. But we have a Danish and a Portuguese navy. So it's possible that I could uh, next turn jump the fleet to coffee, then to coffee again and so forth until I get to ivory and I would get quite a lot of cash from that. With that said however it's time to go into battle and to spice things up rather than moving this one first we're gonna move this one um, to spice it up a bit. So let's see. They should be gaining the re... no they didn't get any reinforcements. They should have been within range to gain these guys. I'm kind of contemplating just out-resolving all this and then jumping onto battles further here. Because this is not a lot and clearly I have superior force. So maybe, you know what? That is exactly what we're going to do. Ooh, maybe not though. Given that we lost so many men. And not only that, the army still is there. He gained, he gained points and he became like one of these famous battle thingies, which is annoying that I don't actually gain it when I'm in control. God damn it. Right, so this was a waste. I shouldn't have done that. These guys was forced away. So that was pointless. And, oh, we lost a lot of men out of this army. Right, um, I'm gonna go in turn and we'll see what happens. Maybe the battle will be down here instead, instead of up here. So I'll go ahead and end turn. And we'll see what the, uh, what the enemy cooks up for us. Right, um, I was actually sending some garrison troops up to garrison this town. But <laughs> the army that retreated and I attacked and retreat, they attack. God damn it. 46 men lost on their side. I'm gonna have to retake the bloody city. Right. French of a piece. They're gonna give me quick climb. Quick climb is absolutely not useful to me. And uh, so go ahead and screw yourself, Froggy. Right. And once again, I've lost Strasbourg. Um, great time. Um, trade unions. Way. Uh, troops recruited, got some ships, which I need possibly. This is for my possible attack on the Ottoman Empire to launch multiple strikes. Um, more militia to replace some frontline troops. My really big artillery unit, with which manned by 280 men. We'll roll that to the front and the French can go bye-bye because we're going to just blow them all away. I'm wondering though, maybe I'll send them down here to deal with the French down in this region instead. We're probably going to need it up here because there's going to be more fighting up here. So. Would be weird if I put it in the light division because well, it's supposed to be light and then I have the heaviest cannon that we have. Um, it looked actually like during the end turn like Wautenberg was going to make a move on Strasbourg. Um, I need my spy to see what's going on here. I think we can go ahead and probably outresolve this one. I'm gonna have to send one army back though to uh, take this and I'm gonna move this one back. Oh! And they actually accepted that. And they moved into Wautenberg territory. It's like I forced them into the dinosaur cage. If they move, try to move back, I can um, go ahead and intercept them there with this army and destroy them. So that won't be a problem. Right, we have these two. We don't actually reach 
all the way up to Reims. Um, the thing is, if I take this, I'll block off the Prussians, but the thing is, that doesn't really matter. Because the Prussians aren't really moving out of that region either. So, instead of going here, possibly being attacked from all sides, we're going to go north. And we're going to go here. And attack. Or liberate the Belgians. That's the plan. Or add them on to uh, Holland, create Greater Holland. But that's... I mean, I'll probably get more from being able to trade with the Dutch and the Belgians. Um, the Prussians down here moved in to take this. So they didn't really move far, which is great. They they stay with 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 uh, with the rest of us. So we w don't want to move too far forward. We're going to move this guy over here. And this guy over here. Actually burn the mine. Boom. And uh, hopefully we move forward here as a as a good unit. This is the unit that I was moving forward that is going to garrison it. So three reserve units. It wouldn't have stopped these guys anyways, actually. And did I move forward? Yes, the light unit. Uh, maybe want to move back creation guy at some point to take control of it. This guy, Archduke Johan of the Draguna Regiment number one. Um, oh, the most outstanding Austrian commander of the era. He was the third son of Emperor Leopold II and brother of Emperor Francis. So apparently he was the best. But I haven't used him at all, more or less. And he has no real stars either. Um. Doesn't seem very spectacular because it didn't have a long page. Uh, right. Uh, what, uh, what do I need to do? Any movements? No, not really. Oh yeah, I recruited a lot of militia units up here. Which I'm thinking of replacing these guys. Just because it's more cost effective. We're going to send three of those down there. And then I'm going to do a similar thing. To Vienna, we're gonna send three of these down to take a position in Vienna, and then I can send these two forward. Um, we're sending a light brigade down here, so there will be three. So why don't you move towards here instead? And we sold that, and also there's nine turn until this thing is built, the Heldenplatz, um, and I think I will be able to recruit some special units for that. Uh, looks like we're going to have to end the turn once more. Um, but then there's definitely going to be a battle because we're uh, then within reach of attacking Brussels. Or attacking Napoleon. But given that I've done so much um, campaign movements, this battle is going to be really big with um, four armies. Two of mine versus two of theirs, plus it's Napoleon. So that, that'll probably be its own video. Um, and then we'll probably focus on this one. Right, let's go ahead and then turn and see what happens. Right, okay, so very unexpected battle. Um, something that I didn't expect at all. The French went in, they attacked the uh, um, Peter Bagratzian and the Russians, beat them back and then attacked them for a second time, at which time I'm able to reinforce. I'm not entirely sure why I wasn't able to reinforce in the first one. And not only us will be reinforcing, the Prussians as well will be joining us. But wasn't the Prussian army actually in the con this army controlled by... Wasn't Blucher here? Where did he go? I don't know. We're going to move in and hopefully help Peter Bagratzian. And yeah, this will be the battle of the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and fight this battle, shall we? And so here we are. I'm moving onto the field to aid my Russian comrades. Um, when we got the Prussians actually coming up behind the, the Russians, I think. So Peter Bugratzian and his force 
is over here. So here we got Bagration, and here we got his lances. He's got some dragoons and uh, line infantry in here, and then the Prussians are turning up from behind with the uh, guard cuirassiers, dragoons, and a bunch of cannons. So, I mean, the French would do well in attack Bagration before the reinforcements turn up. But instead it looks like they're planning on holding the forest. They've deployed their howitzers and are exploding shots inside the forest. Great stuff. My cannon's probably not going to do a lot of good in this battle because, well, they're deep in this... Uh, forest in this Italian forest. I'm gonna move my general over to the side and uh, my cavalry I'm gonna order them, call them up and turn around behind the French. I'm not entirely sure if uh, it looks as though the Russians probably lost their big unicorn guns um, otherwise that would be pretty cool to see those huge hovitzer-like cannons blast off. Jesus Christ, the Prussians are able to reinforce a lot quicker than I am. Look, they have tons of troops already on the field. Guard units and stuff. But they're all clumped up, so I don't want to go too close just because of uh, the very low FPS. Um, right, cannon positions. Not really any good ones. But we're gonna tell the cannons kind of go over here. And then the infantry. In column to the same location. And we'll attack from there. So already the uh, Russians have been sent away. The uh, Prussians, undaunted by that, charge straight into the forest like a bunch of morons. Without any support at all. And just waste their guard cavalry. And the... Uh, the French respond by sending forwards their Belgian dragoons. These guys are about to break pretty quick, darn quickly. The Russians send forwards the men once more. It's only 16 there of whatever this is. What on earth? Wait, 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 wait. Pause right there. What is this? What on earth is this? It's some form of Cossack unit, but it's some bastardized Empire unit with weird sausage fingers. I don't know, I'm not entirely convinced that these are humans. Anyways, there's only 16 of them and probably they'll die, so that, that'll be uh, that'll work just fine for us. And it, sound, <laughs> it sounded like they died right there. Um, right getting more and more units coming in and uh, hopefully we'll be ready to actually deploy these pretty darn soon it's a lot of howitzer shots and failed cavalry attacks on the enemy's frontier we've got a young guard unit vault gears of the young guard formed into square. I will be coming into the flanks and that will be rather nice. Oh look at that, they've shot their own horsemen too. Out of the 20th Chasseur à Cheval. I don't know what the French have all up in this forest but they seem to have a lot of it. It wasn't that big of an army there. Okay so the Prussians are drawing into line. They've got the general over here. The ninth 
God Goons. Do we have here a Jaeger Company? God Jaeger Company. <laughs> With actual rifles. Then we have the uh, number 8 Koenig Dillon III. We have canu ca canooners? Cannons? Which is Landwehr Cannon. 12 from the Landwehr Artillery. Landwehr. Silesian Landwehr. Reserve Musketeers. Reserve Musketeers. A lot of Reserve Musketeers and Landwehr. This is not a particularly great army. The Russians still got all their men clumped up. They got some veterans over on this side. So they got something. And Bagratsin is all the way back there. Oh, Prussian Grenadiers. So they got something moving forward at least. Something good in this army. I was worried that we're going to send in the, uh, the reserve musketeers on their own. Right, Prussia is um, hell bent on reaching the front line before me, which we do not like. I don't have a good artillery position. We'll deploy our lines. I haven't actually checked what I brought. Hopefully, no. The wiki units are my Hungarian units, but they're split. They're Split within the line, so it's not going to be a massive uh, catastrophe. Catastrophe if they break. Um, don't really great have a great artillery position, do I? Two six-pounder artilleries. I guess we'll move them forwards and then fire canister at close range. My cavalry is kind of a within position. Not yet though, so the heavy cavalry over here. Light cavalry over here. And looks like the French are sending troops our way. So the fight is about to begin. There are a number though, as we can see on the map, we can see the French here in the forest. The Prussian pulling forwards. And now the Austrians. Soon ready to uh, join the fight as well. Yeah, we'll get everyone and I want you to move forwards. Make the line. And then bald guy will move up to the trees. I mean, it's winter all over the other place in Europe, but uh, for some reason it's uh, here in Italy, it's just fall. I mean, there was snow just a minute ago in, when we fought in uh, around Strasbourg, at the Battle of Metz. This is actually called the Battle of Genoa. What are we going to face here, moving around? Line, we've got Grenadier. Two grenadier units and one line. A few more lines actually. And then we've got the howitzers which are relocating. Probably trying to face us or just moving back. We've got conscript unit moving forward. Gonna clash with the Bardish and infantry pretty darn soon. Not within range just yet though main bulk of the French force is right here. I don't know why there's so many Prussians up here when they should be helping me here. Bardish and troops. Well this one is within range. We're gonna get the first shots off. So I'm ordering them to hold. And we're gonna tell the one to hold right next to this one. And we got the first shots off. We're gonna tell these two to hold as well. And this one to hold. Oh, the cannon is way closer than I thought. It's faster than everything else in the army. 
Right, I want you to hold right there. And then the other battery is gonna hold right there. No, that's for planning. You know what? This one will be a reserve battery if they break my lines. So move that one back. Um, then these two will come to the side of the artillery. And these will come to the other side and will give, will lower the uh, the width of our lines to have a enable the Prussians to move forwards unhindered. Right, I'm going to move the general forward here. Yet we have not been able to break this little conscript unit. I'm going to move the lines forward a bit. Advance on these bastards. They will break. Six pounder gun ready with canister to blast foggies. Go ahead and tell them to barrage. They're most likely going to target this unit. Go ahead and break these guys already. With the oh yes, two howitzer shots. The Frenchies are firing on us. Go on, break these already. Ooh, nice cannons there, blasting through this unit. Ooh, don't fire into my units though. Move these guys back. And these lines, they're basically square, so I don't even need to move them into square, I think. Um, let's move the heavy cavalry forwards. Have the light cavalry move behind. Not like that. Come behind the forest. Um, form into square to protect against the guard dragoons. And then we're going to gain more ground against this small unit. I'm surprised we haven't broken them yet. They're surprisingly strong, the little foggies. Prussian Dragoons. Moving like idiots, I guess. We'll uh, try to open up and let them come through here. Right, finally, they're gone. And let's not have these guys bypass us. So my uh, Hohen, Hohen Law Dragoons number two will charge them, most likely break them. Drop the square and this line will now advance towards the enemy. Clearly canister is not within range so switch to round shot. Let's see French Goons and stuff being broken over there. These three units will turn, come towards here. The Prussians, in a mad rage, is just charging straight into the forest. Just tons and tons of them. And if we look from above, we can kind of see. So we see the French units actually. Are Got Russian here, and then the Prussians coming all around here. With more Prussians coming Glorious here. Victories, huh? Russian it's artillery bombarding over here. And then my units in a more organized line coming through here. That's basically the, uh, the view they introduced in Rome. Um, ah, the bastards are back. Right, these guys were destroyed and these guys are still active and it looks like they slaughtered every single one of the enemy only losing a handful of men which is good right you will hold right there and open fire on the enemy and I think we can move closer here and these guys will still be able to fire Sir. Sir. because they will Our be fire overhead General probably needs to move forward so that he is not coming under fire. And 
let's not fire into our uh, German allies. So I think we'll advance. If the um, Prussian bloody commander could get out of the way and not ride straight in front of my bloody cannons, would be nice. Most of it is just probably a melee cluster of absolute an absolute madness inside the forest. While uh, I at least try to be a little bit organized outside here. Looks as though that the, uh, as we can see if we go up here, Lots and lots of French retreating. Once this one goes, very few units still left there. Azaz is about to come under fire. So they will have to retreat back. I'm going to move my cavalry though, so I'll be able to sweep up all the French that are left off. The enemy has. Like the enemy, my allies, has gone through them. Right now, the. Bloody Prussian general is acting like a complete fool. And uh, he's. Well, I guess we'll o try to open up a hole for him to get through. And there he died, most likely due to friendly fire. Probably we shot him. Bastard idiot going in front of us. It's an absolute mess in there in the forest. Have these two turn towards here. The partition will advance towards these. And uh, you know what? It's just a me it's a, just an absolute mess. I want everyone to just march through bayonetic everything they find in their way. And the artillery will hold fire. The risk of friendly fire is too great. Once these guys turn, these guys can come through the forest. These guys should capture anyone that comes out of the forest on this side. You will advance a bit, I think. And I want to charge these guys before they form into the square. Oh, you know what? They're, fa they're facing my bloody cavalry first. Well, it's too late. Forest will probably uh, soak up most of the bullets, so advance through. And have these two advance through as well. We have killed their general, sir. Now Enemy they general break. killed. Prussians next to Austrians. Banner in German uh, French grenadiers. Where the howitzer shots going overhead. I would not want to be part of this mess. I went the French officer. As some Russians. Oh, poor, poor French troops. They're already, they're already. Uh, Russian troops ahead of them, so this grenad the 11th Grenadier are certainly going to be killed to every s every last man of that unit is going to get killed. And then we have all of these. And Napoleon will find himself alone. I'm going to go ahead and chase these guys down. But there we have this battle. Not that I did that much in the battle, but... Um, Jesus Christ, it's an absolute mess. Anyways, let's jump back to the campaign map and take a look at what uh, we have managed to accomplish there. Well, it is the end turn, actually, so... I don't know what... Um, 
Probably not that much. Who is this being drawn? Oh, it's actually one of ours. It's one of my hussars. I got a shot. And it's being dragged along the ground. I think at some point he will actually drop the guy. Possibly. Or he's just gonna drag him until there's nothing left. Probably trample him at the in, in same time. This is just gonna go home. Back to Austria! You lazy bastard. And there he goes. Off into the distance. Flapping around like a dead fish. Right. We'll go back to the end turn and we'll see what happened. And here we have the battle. So the combined army of um, Russian, Prussian and Austrian troops numbered 8,000 compared to the French 2,600. Uh, we managed to uh, lose a thousand men. Probably most of them Russian and Prussian. And uh, the enemy lost most of their army. Let's see. Who is the highest killer of my side? Cavalry. I can't see my allies though, unfortunately. But uh, cavalry. No surprise there. Who lost the most of my... One German infantry lost 68 men. But no super high losses, which is good. Which means that I will be able to continue this Italian campaign, get rid of Napoleon, and take this region. But with that said, uh, this will probably be the end, this will be the end of the video, and uh, I'll catch you guys for the next one. So as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!